we're going to show a video of a customer who's using many of the key capabilities of Cortana Analytics. The U.S. healthcare system is challenged by the task to deliver exceptional, personalized care at a lower cost. Despite spending nearly one-fifth of our gross domestic product on healthcare, we struggle to meet this goal. Financial pressures on care providers are increasing. This isn't sustainable. So how can we deliver high-quality, personalized care that patients deserve, given the cost pressures we face? At Dartmouth-Hitchcock, we've created Imagine Care, a new cloud-based solution built on Cortana Analytics Suite and Microsoft Dynamics that enables providers to help patients achieve better health. With the help of Microsoft, Dartmouth-Hitchcock is building a technology platform to serve healthcare organizations and patients across the country, setting a new standard for personalized care. Now, using machine intelligence, providers can develop a care plan that's unique to each patient. We can monitor patients from their homes, where data is collected from devices and sent to the cloud, to Imagine Care's 24-7 contact center, where registered nurses continually monitor a patient's health status and potentially serious trends. Cortana, summarize health status for Ben Andrews. Ben Andrews' weight has increased more than two pounds in the last 24 hours. Please review the home diuresis protocol prescribed by Dr. Phillips. Patients get reminders and encouragement and dynamic updates to their care plans, improving their health, helping them avoid unnecessary trips to the emergency room, and reducing the cost of care. With support from loved ones and real-time interventions, there is less likelihood of readmission. With Cortana Analytics Suite and Microsoft Dynamics, we're transforming the way healthcare is delivered today, improving patient outcomes, reducing costs, and offering an unprecedented level of personalized care. What a great story. We're actually blessed that we have Dr. James Weinstein with us, the CEO and President of Dartmouth Hitchcock Health Systems, to come and demonstrate the solution. Jim? Welcome. Thanks, Barb. Great to be here. It's great to be here, Barb, uh, and it's great to talk to the worldwide partners of Microsoft. You know, Simon Sinek says, people don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. People don't buy what you do, they buy why you do it. As you saw, Imagine Care is all about our why. There's a speech that was given probably before most of you were born, August 1963, by Martin Luther King. That speech was, I have a dream. 250,000 people showed up for that speech. There wasn't a marketing campaign. Invitations weren't set out. They showed up because it was about their why. They believed that the social injustices in this country were so important that they had to show up and listen to Dr. King. Today, I'd like to demonstrate and introduce Imagine Care to you with Barb to show how we can keep well people well better in their homes, and when we're sick or you're sick, how we can help you get better faster. That's what Imagine Care is all about. The Azure cloud-based system that in healthcare it's really important to have security, confidentiality is just that. It's HIPAA compliant, FISMA compliant, and cloud-based. Newly introduced Cortana Analytics as a partner in that cloud-based solution is extremely exciting, and what Barbara and I will show you is how what we could do never before in healthcare is now possible. Imagine, I have a dream too. I want to create a new sustainable health system, and I have a plan. Imagine care. Great, Jim. Let's take a look. So, what we do is we sign in to Imagine Care, and I'll put on my glasses so that I can actually see. And what you see here is mission control, kind of like the aircraft tower that kind of observes where flights are, flight control. Here we have not airplanes, we have people. We can look at cities across America with the data analytic potential of Cortana brought into the Azure cloud, into Imagine Care. We can monitor any city. Let's look here. What we see right away is 
what you would expect in this city in green, most of the people are pretty healthy. We're not concerned about them, but we're thinking about them all the time in Imagine Care. And if something changes, we're there for them right away. 33% of the people do have some illness. We're tracking them daily, a little closer than the normal people, ready to pounce on it if we have a problem. Most importantly, you see the 4% in the red. Those are the people that we're following very closely with our 24-7 nurse call line, always available, monitoring the data that's coming in in these machine intelligent systems, machine learning, allowing us to take care of the patients. You saw in the video Ben. Let's look at Ben a little deeper now. We have a lot of information here about Ben. These are our dashboards for following any patient throughout the Imagine Care system. Let's look at how Ben's doing today. His heart's beating, that's good. Um, <laughs> what we see is his oxygen uh, capacity, meaning how well he's breathing. It's a little low, 92%. On room air, we'd like it to be around 100%. His blood pressure is a little elevated, 165 over 110, and you can see over on the right the red areas, which actually were the reason that he became red on the mission control dashboard. And you can see that he's gained a little weight, about 190 pounds. We all worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> and the most important thing we're going to dive down into is his heart rate's a little irregular. So well, let me come up. You know, Jim, I, I actually stole Ben Andrews' uh, band, uh -oh. Microsoft band, backstage, and I've been wearing it since, since I started presenting. So It's interesting. Your heart rate's up here. a little bit. I think, uh, are you nervous? Uh, I didn't think so, but I guess I I'm telling the whole audience I am. <laughs> I'm nervous. I should be nervous. <laughs> but anyhow, my heart rate's a little different. But well, the fact is, is that... What do you do about that when, when you have the heart rate? Imagine Care has the ability, as you can see with these smiling and frowny faces, to give you a little bit of a nudge. We'll try and nudge you here as Ben. Let me use my pen. Maybe that'll work better. You should receive a nudge. Some of those should work. There we go. Okay. Got my nudge so from my Microsoft band, so you're not too happy with me. I'm sorry, but it's a great doctor, though. Let me know when you're not happy with me. We're always thinking about you, Ben, in this case, Barb. <laughs> well, and if Ben didn't have a Microsoft band, the great thing is he could have also got the nudge from his mobile phone, whether it be an iPhone or a Windows phone. So that's great. So mobile, fully cloud and mobile. Yes, and Imagine Care works in that system continuously to monitor Ben and so many millions of others. As we look across, we talked about the mood analysis, and you talked about taking in the sentiments of the patient. For the first time, we actually can collect information about the patient's voice. They can tell us about what their mood is. We all know when we talk to a loved one, our spouse, or our children, kind of what kind of day they're having. We can actually record that now just by the intonation of the voice which is really meaningful when you're trying to think of the whole package of wellness and how somebody is feeling. That's great, Jim. That's actually a great example of the perceptual intelligence capabilities that's very differentiated in the Cortana Analytics Suite. So a lot of that Microsoft, MSR, the research we've invested in, things like perceptual intelligence and the mood analysis really have been able to enable you it's to bring fantastic. that into the application. It's fantastic. Right. So am I depressed too, or are you going to nudge me on that? <laughs> You're, actually, you're pretty good here. All right. <laughs> so I think uh, Ben would be happy that you're wearing his band. <laughs> you look good. So as we look up here, um, one of the th reasons we, we uh, tried to talk about Ben was because of his blood pressure being high in that red area. Let's take a li little deeper look at that. Here you see these kind of gray bands that give the segmentation of people that are like Ben. Remember, the business intelligence behind this that we'll look at has millions and millions of data points. We can look at the weather. We can look at the pollen counts. We can get information from the CDC about the flu epidemic. Uh, we can collect information about the economics in the environment, where people buy food, what the roads are like, whether it's a hilly environment or a flat environment. All of that information comes in to help us understand Ben or people like Ben or people like you. 
That's great. So really great example of machine learning and being able to do the predictive and the analytics capabilities. Yeah, and so I think what we can do is look a little closer at some of the machine uh, learning and the business uh, information that we collect continuously on a whole set of people. This could be uh, locally, regionally, nationally, and globally. You see, you know, petabytes or terabytes of information being collected. This is huge could in you, a cloud-based system. Could you do that before without the cloud? No. So things like HD Insight that are part of Cortana Analytics, really being able to do that scale up, scale down analytic processing has really been strategic for you? Absolutely. We've never been able to take this kind of disparate information from multiple places, load it into one place, in this case the, the cloud, the Azure cloud, and then apply Cortana Analytics, Cortana Analytics to actually use the information to actually take care of a patient 24-7. We can actually take care of them before they even realize they're getting sick. And we should remember to go back to Ben and take care of him before we go. And I think this is great too. Like you notice the back on the map, the flu epidemic, for example. So that would just be that would be terabytes of data. You know, how do you figure out you know, doing that analysis? So there's a flu outbreak, and so that's just a great scenario yes. where you need that analytics processing power and alerting different folks. I was thinking about being down in Florida and having the weather as hot as it is from somebody from the Northeast. Um, it's pretty hot. And I was kind of worried about my health and my physiology. And when you start to actually measure it in this environment versus the environment you're north, no, used to living in, it's quite different. It's just amazing. That's great. So you're using Power BI really for your data scientists and the people that are doing the data analytics. And then the nurses are using Imagine Care as that main dashboard to really take care of the patient. So really using two really strong tools for different sets of functionality. Absolutely. We want to be with our patients all the time. Whoops. How do I go back to Ben here? Let's see if we can get back to him. Should be able to. Why don't we just jump over here on, oh, there we go. Here we come. I can just sign back in. There we go. I'm getting pretty good at this. <laughs> Going to be a power surface user. Yeah, just to talk about what you were talking about, when there's an epidemic or a change, yep. we can bring that information back. But as we go back to, to Ben, who will come up here because of his high alert and dive into the real reason he called us about his blood pressure, we, we don't want to forget not to take care of that. Actually, did you uh, did he call you or you called him? We called him. That's right, because it's you're really doing predictive and prescriptive. Yes, we're trying to be proactive yeah. rather than reactive. Yeah. So many people end up back in the hospital sicker than they should be, and certainly sicker than they want to be. So we want to be there before they get sick, monitoring with, with them and their families how to prevent them from being hospitalized. Remember, Ben had a predictive uh, readmission to the hospital of almost 90%. We can just call him, contact here Ben, by just hitting the button, the nurse will call him, give him his diuretics, get the weight off, adjust his blood pressure medicine based on the segmentation of the whole population of people in the cloud, and particularly take care of Ben in his home so he doesn't have to make that trip back to the hospital. Yeah, and what I thought was really interesting, if you can share with the audience, is you're, you're taking care of Ben as an individual not treating him on the average. So yes. it'd be great to hear a little bit more about that. The, you know. Traditionally in medicine, we do large studies and we get an average result and we report that average result. But I may not be in that average. Ben may not be in that average. The nice thing about Cortana Analytics is we can take millions, terabytes of information and information that heretofore in medicine wasn't available. We didn't collect the temperature of Florida. We didn't collect the pollen clown. We didn't collect the information about the flu into the information about Ben and people like Ben. So the treatments become much more specific and aren't about the mean or average, they're about you. That's great, that's great. And the other thing I thought was really interesting because on the news lately, there's been a lot about healthcare and healthcare costs. So the readmittance back into the hospital, can you talk a little bit about that and healthcare providers, what, that, what that's going to do to your bottom line? Sure. 
the work at, at, at Dartmouth-Hitchcock has really been talking about the variation in healthcare for years. We follow tens of millions of patients right now for the last 20 years. And the biggest cost of healthcare is hospitalization. 15% of, uh, of the dollars, 15% uh, of the people, 65 and over, account for 50% of the spend, with hospitalization being the most expensive part of that. With this Imagine Care tool, we are able to keep people out of the most expensive place and, in fact, the place people don't want to be, the hospital. So this is extremely exciting, and I think we're on the verge, Barb, of really an industrial revolution. We're at the precipice of a place where medicine, which has history back to Hippocrates, is now merging with technology that finally can bring us to a new generation of care and explode the process in a revolution that actually makes it better for you. It's all about that why that Dr. King talked about, and Imagine Care, working with Microsoft, will make that possible. That's great, Jim. I really appreciate you being here with us. Thank you, Terrific Barbara. It's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah.